we were in high school. No, let, actually, let's talk about this. How did you ever see me in the in the light of being married? Never. <laughs> Not at all, man. I didn't see anybody being able to deal with you, man. Not even yourself. <laughs> man. Oh my God. This, I was this, go this ahead. guy was a was a Tasmanian devil. Well, you was cool when we were younger. Right. And then things happened. And then you just start taking a you instead of going straight, you was like, I'm gonna go ahead and make this left right here. Hard left. If we made a hard left, it was oh man, there's so much stuff that <laughs> that happened. I couldn't even believe it, man. But but let, let's talk right. about it because this is this is reality check, right? Yeah. And this is is real because it's people that are dealing with sons, probably parents dealing with sons or are dealing with a child that might be rebelling, or friends are dealing with a friend mm. that's rebelling, are going down the wrong road, and they see them doing it, like, and they may need advice or whatever. Yeah. But um, because I know you witnessed the whole thing. Yeah. You witnessed it from from the from the from being on the right path to going left to where you are now. And so a good like what was going through your mind as as that was happening to me? Like as I was going through that. I was disappointed in you, man. Right. Because my expectation was way higher. I was like, you know better. Like your parents didn't have you doing this stuff. Like you just out here just wild and just because you want to wild. Like the homies, they cool, man. And like you see, I we all got the same homies. Right. But I'm like, you know what? That's not what I'm going to do. Right. I'll go ahead and do y'all thing. I'm going to be over with my girl while y'all doing all that stuff. I see y'all when y'all come back. <laughs> what, do you, what do you attribute that to? The strength that you had to not be a follower? Because you were never a follower. Yeah. You've always disagreed. <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> you've always disagreed and you've never been a follower. Like, how, where did you get that strength from? Like, where did that come from? Because we didn't have it. Yeah. Man, I I have I can't really pinpoint where it came from. I just think having a girl always made me like I'm gonna just hang out with my girl. Right. Like that's why I know how to maintain a relationship because I've always been in one and it's not new to me. I've been in a relationship since I was in the ninth grade. So right. I know how to like some people wait until like they play in the streets the whole time and then as they get older they're trying to figure out how to be a good boyfriend or husband or lover and. It's tough. Yeah. They never had any experience back in the day because they used to just do whatever the heck they wanted exactly. to do. So as you get older and you're trying to figure this stuff out, you can't calm down or get yourself to lock in on that one person. So Because you've been conditioned uh, to be another way. Yeah, for all these years. It's like, well, I'm supposed to just be doing this. with. So I've always had that foundation of a girlfriend that kept me balanced. And my girls are always been like solid women. Right. They weren't like put me through the ringer and on the streets. Well, you were food. always smart. You was always a handsome dude. You always had access to what a lot of other people didn't have access to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you were always top tier, right? Girls liked you or whatever, but you dialed in. And I will say in the ninth grade, because eighth grade, ninth grade is where I started like Going, veering yeah. off, right? And so a big part was like, damn, my, my nigga, my best friend, my brother, he is at, you were at Savannah. Yeah. I was at Poly on the east side where my family's from and like just, you yeah. know, off to my own vices. And um, Amy O was, Amy O was my other dude and he kind of was on his girl shit and I just ventured into my own stuff and then I was just, my parents had got a divorce. My uncle Marvin committed suicide. My family, like my, the women in my family, like you need to be a man and go see his body, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, go watch, and go look at him. And so seeing his dead body, like with, with this, this with the bullet hole and yeah. stuff, and then the divorce, and then my grandma started getting sick. Me and my grandma yep. got sick. And so all that shit started happening around the same time. And then in the ninth grade, you were not available. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you were at Savannah. At until a seventh period. Until seventh period, yeah. till we had track. And then you were occupied. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was just like, already tripping, you know what I mean, trying to deal with my stuff. And that's, like, where it veered off, you know what I mean? I was just like, you know what? I'm going to hang with these guys. I'm going to hang with these guys, and not even just hang with these guys. I'm going to show these guys that this is what it is. They're like, this is how you be with the business, you know? (laughs) And they was doing some way out stuff. I ain't going to even talk about it. (laughs) These guys is wild, man. Oh, man. And it's, it's crazy because... At the time, I remember you asking me, like, what's wrong? 
Yeah. What's wrong? What's going on? And I'm like, I'm fine. Nigga. I'm, I'm cool. Like, I'm doing what I want to do. But at the time, I didn't really know what was affected. I didn't even know that I was being affected. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was in it. So, like, just do I was like, nigga, what do you mean? What's wrong with me? Like, this is what it is. But only somebody that's bothered or that's gone through some trauma is, is putting trauma on other people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Only someone that's traumatized can traumatize other people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and so... I had not dealt with my demons. I was just a baby, nigga. I was 14 yeah, years exactly. old. And I didn't know that my uncle's death had fucked me up that bad. You know yeah. what I mean? Because reflecting back on it, I did the exact opposite of what I was to impress his death. You know what I mean? Like, like I got to be this. I got to be yeah. that. And it's like, damn. Reflecting, you could pinpoint. But that's how I've gotten better by being able to go back and look at what went wrong and this and that. And you were always there saying, Jay, you fucking up, dude. Man, I was disappointed, but I didn't know. Like, I would, you know, we you don't know, have you any know, knowledge. You know, I was a kid, too. You, uh, you will always say, nigga, your dad is, you got a good dad, you got a good mom. You're not, not knowing that, like, my dad had been through what he was yeah. going through and then the halfway houses and then my mom, like, being where she's at. It just, from the outside, it always looked good. Good. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it wasn't. But I think because sometimes, we can compare our pain to other people's pain. Yeah. And you've been through shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're like, nigga, like, so what? Yeah. Like, get get over it. And you've always been that get over it person. Like, nigga, like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. And now my wife is on my ass about that now to this day. She's like, not everybody can handle situations the way you do. Right. So you can't expect people to just get over stuff. Because I'm like, you know what? If it's out of my control, there's literally nothing I can do. Right. Like, I can't just, like, I'm not going to sit here and harp or be pissed about something that happened that I cannot change whatsoever. But if it's something I can change, then I'll do what I need to do to right. change it. But if it's something that's finite and I just got to deal with it, I'm like, what can I do? What can I do? It's over. It's over. Just, whatever happened, whether it's something from a court or in life, whatever it is, it's like, it is what it is. Like, what can I do? Mm -hmm. It's over. Like, I'm not about to be, sit here and ruin my day. Ruin my day over something that I can't. Like, it's just done. And that that's the other thing, too. So let's get to that because you've always been also. And I wonder if there's more like I've I've met a couple of people that have this same disposition or outlook is like, get over your depression. Like that shit, like nigga, like what get over it. Look at what you got. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you've always had that, what is that, that cup half empty, half full? Yeah. Like my cup is always half full. Half full. Yeah. And it's like, dude, you got all this stuff. Get over it. And I and I look and I'm like, is that Muhammad? Is that is that Zarifa? Like it, it yeah. could be. But you know, our parents are like, we come from a different generation where our parents didn't really like just talking to us about their feelings and what right. they were going through. Like if they were talking to us, it's either about school, religion, um, cleaning up chores and stuff. We never just like chopped it up and like, well, you know, this is how I dealt with this and right. that. Like, we didn't get that from our parents, so it could be from them. Very mm -hmm. well be from one of them, and I don't, I still don't know to this day because, like, we still have the same relationship that, same conversations that we had back in the day. Right. We don't really, like, like, you go to your parents for advice. Yeah. And they give you, at this point, as an adult, but, like, we still don't have that conversation where they're, like, talking about what happened in their life and how they dealt with it and how they deal with their friends who do this stuff. Like, right. That's not a conversation that I've had. Maybe I should have that conversation just so I can get some clarity. On I think that would be <clears throat> beneficial, but maybe our parents, maybe your parents went through some shit. I ain't talking about that. Like yeah. we we're in a different place now. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we're in a different, cause our, our, our childhood is no comparison to their childhood. Yeah, exactly. You know,